Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. We are blessed to be alive today and we give thanks to God. If you are new to this channel, welcome. And all of you supporting this channel, thank you so much. God bless you. I know that many of you on this channel are dreamers. And so today I want to talk about the one dream that changed my life. It doesn't mean it's the only dream, but uh, when I had that dream, many things changed. I was so ignorant. I didn't know many of the things I know now. That was a problem in itself. This dream stuck with me and pushed me to fast on Christmas day. And people were enjoying their food and I was like, thank you very much, as if I didn't want to eat. But uh, God saw me through. Why am I sharing this dream? Because there are problems in your life which will push you to going in the right direction. And so that challenge, there's something good coming out of it. The strength you are having now, if it wasn't for that challenge, you were not going to be praying the way you are praying. This is why I'm sharing my dream today, because this one dream changed the way I looked at my spiritual work with the Lord. It opened my eyes and this dream kept on coming. I didn't know the meaning. It's good to know that many of our problems are rooted in our foundation. So most of your problems are connected to your bloodline generational cases so some dreams will continue coming until you wake up christians perish because of lack of knowledge when you have the knowledge your eyes are open and this is what i'm trying to do on this channel by the help of the holy spirit by the grace of god in life there's always a turning point right when things are going well you don't even think of running to god but when you are pushed and it's like a lion is chasing you, you will run to God because the Bible says the righteous will run to him and they will be safe. So we are safe in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this dream came when I was on holiday and you've heard me mention Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So we're out on holiday and uh, things started to fall apart. But before that, I had a dream on the 30th of December. I woke up to this dream and in that dream, I lost my shoes. And this is a very common dream. In that dream, I was nicely dressed and my shoes went missing. Just when I was supposed to wear them, looked everywhere and I couldn't find them. We were supposed to attend this event. There I was without shoes. So people started going and they didn't want to wait for me. That was so frustrating because that was an important event. I didn't know what else to do. And in that dream, there was no any other pair that I could have worn. It was just that one pair. And so everyone went. I decided to walk on foot. I was walking, but the road was so rough. I managed to walk, but I didn't reach the destination on time. I arrived there, everything was finished, food was eaten, and I was there without shoes. And I was so sad. I woke up to that dream. I was very worried. I was very worried. I shared it with my husband, and I said, I'm going on a fast. I didn't even think twice. You are going to fast while on holiday? I said, this kind, calls for a fast and i declared a fast on that 30th of december that was early in the morning and before midday things started to fall apart we decided to go to a nearby supermarket to get some things for christmas the kids had to eat even though i wasn't eating everyone else had to eat while we were going there the car from nowhere just fell in a ditch and we couldn't come out we tried in our own strength, nothing happened. The car was jammed right there. We saw some guys coming and tried to push, the car didn't move. So I knew that something was wrong. I sat there, I was praying, I said, God help me, help us. This is a foreign land and now everyone else is on holiday. If we have to call someone, it will be so expensive. So we went around looking for guys who would help us. It took us almost half a day to just get that car out and some guys came to help us. So we were out of that. I thought that was the end. One more thing I want to point out is that I didn't know that bad dreams had to be canceled. So I woke up and I didn't cancel this dream. I just went about the day. So things started to fall apart, even though I had declared my fast. It didn't prevent these things from happening. So the car was out 
and we headed to the supermarket, bought our things, went home. When we arrived there, the landlord, the owner of the house where we were staying, told us that there was something wrong with our booking. There was a mistake with the number of days we had booked to stay in the house. So this now was another problem. He told us to move to another house because he had other people coming in that house. We went to this house and nothing was working. We asked this guy, didn't you know that things were not working in this house? He said everything was working. He didn't know why power was disconnected. He had to look for gas for us to use. And our stay on that holiday was so bad struggling every single day. I said, what is happening? Something should really be wrong. And for me, I felt like Job, where everything was falling apart. Bad news here, before you deal with that one, another bad news comes. And while on that fast, God revealed something. There's no way you can pray and fast and God doesn't speak. That's why I'm talking to you about day zero. Take time to seek the Lord with all your heart. And day zero doesn't mean you fast on that day. A sister came to me and she was still confused about day zero. Day zero just means that you set yourself, examine yourself uh, before you start your, your fast, your actual fast the following day. So today you take time, you don't fast. It's not part, part of the fasting. You just make sure that you repent and you are right before God. This dream really changed my life because I fasted those three days. And this dream kept on coming even before, but I didn't understand it. So because it kept on coming and on this day, things just started falling apart. But I had the push that morning to go into this fast and God revealed that I was dealing with a generational case. The problem with generational cases is that they have a tendency of manifesting in so many different ways. So I was dealing with this bloodline case. So anytime that you want to enjoy something, that ancestral power comes to attack you because you have to be struggling. You are meant to be struggling. You are not supposed to enjoy anything. So anytime that you find that you have a bit of money or you are going on holiday or something good is happening, that family ancestral spirit will fight you until things start to fall apart. That's what was happening here. But glory be to God, Jesus Christ, who came to set the captives free and for the Holy Spirit to push me to enter into a three-day fast. Even on Christmas day, I was fasting. God wouldn't allow my prayers to go unanswered. So from then now, I started working on dreams, like to understand dreams more and to make sure that the enemy didn't go unchecked. In that day, if I woke up and I started to cancel that dream, to make sure that that dream was canceled, I believe that all we went through were not going to be there. Because of the power in the name of Jesus, every ancestral spirit will listen to you because of who you carry. Any lesser power must bow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How has this dream changed my life? Because today I don't let the enemy go unchecked. Every morning I'll make sure I double check my dreams. If there's any evil dream, I'll cancel it immediately. If you don't do that, you will perish due to lack of knowledge. And today I'm able to pray right because of that one dream. And every time I have a bad dream, if I know that the consequences may be grave, I'll go straight into prayer and fasting. I don't care whether it's New Year's Day. I would rather be in the presence of God than be eating and drinking and my life is falling apart. God honored my prayer and fasting. And after those three days, we enjoyed our peace. We traveled safely. We had no breakdown. There was no bad news until the whole of our stay was over. Praise the Lord. That's how you fix the enemy. Don't wait for too long to go into a fast if you are facing spiritual attacks. I was talking to one sister today who inspired me so much. I was explaining to her that in this program, there's a lot of fasting and I'll hold your hand, I'll guide you and you have to prepare yourself emotionally to fast 
She said, fasting is not a problem. I'm already fasting. I said, no, but fasting will be in week two and in week three. And she said, I don't have a problem with that. I can continue fasting because I really want it. When you commit, God will show up and then things will start working for your good in the name of Jesus. So I wanted to share this dream that changed my life. I'm praying better today. I know how to cancel my dreams immediately. If it's a dream that worries me, I'll go into a fast and I'll do a one day fast until I know that this dream has been blocked from manifesting in the physical because no one wants to feel like Job. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. If that's the case, give it thumbs up, continue commenting, watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to do so because you don't want to miss anything that God is doing in this family. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.